In today's edition of Around the Railways, we're off to Whitehead, home of the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland, the Blackhead Path, and the Cozy Marine Bar. Come explore with me and see what this quaint County Antrim town has to offer. That's us arrived in Whitehead at the end of the line. End of the line for today. The line does extend on to Larne, but this train terminates here. So let's go and explore what there is to do. Welcome to Whitehead. Certainly it's a very floral station, a lot of flowers, they do take a lot of pride in this station. They've got some awards here, Community Rail Halt Award, Transit Ulster and Bloom 2014, 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19, so where's 2020 and 2022, or 2021, 2022. Maybe they don't do that award anymore folks, but if you do know, let me know in the comments. So they've got a ticket booth here as well, they've got, still got the old sign, the old ticket booth sign. A little bit of a waiting room. I'm doing a bit of work. So I like these old stations, you've got a bit of a library here as well. Oh, someone's been doing a bit of graffiti work. It's got a number on it, 439. So we will take a walk down to the beach later on, folks. Right here by the seaside in Whitehead. Nice and calm tonight. Let's take a walk up over the old bridge. It's nice to see restoration. Some of these old bridges I've seen in Balamina or Antrim or something, I think it was Antrim. There's one just sitting in the yard, all sad. And Balamoni's been taken away, it's now a sort of a bigger, more modern bridge, but this has still got the original features on it. See, so yeah, I just come back out again, on the other side of the station. It's only every hour past this point. There's some more nice boats. Is there a coffee shop nearby, was there? Hmm? Coffee shop? Yeah, it's just up there on the left. Oh, dead on tears, huh? thank you. Gonna be coffee here, folks. Coastal coffee. It's such a chilly morning, I'm gonna get a nice little coffee just to start the day. A little cappuccino. So I'm in Whitehead to check out the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland. Railway Society. So they do restorations of trains and locomotives, three guided tours every day. 
Yeah, three tours today, 11, 12, 30. But they've got some of the old posters from the railways, Great Western Railway, Northern Counties Hotel. The main line to Larne had opened around 1880 and uh, encouraged people then to come down to Whitehead you know, for a day at the seaside and that. Mm -hmm. So um, they put on uh, excursion trains and they just built this platform then so that an excursion train could come in here off the main line, sit here for the day and uh, without blocking the main line. People could then um, spend the day in Whitehead and then go home on the excursion train back to Belfast then. So. There we go. So this is the engine used on the Great Train Robbery with Sean Connery. That was used in the making of that film. It was made between Mullingar and uh, Adathlone. This is 186. We have about 150 volunteers right. put together and then we have some um, full-time staff Mm -hmm. as well, I think it was three or four engineers for time. So folks, just finished my tour here, I'm in the restaurant, I'm gonna get some food, I'm absolutely starving. That was a great tour. Don, what have we got on the menu here? Well, what have we got? Yeah. <laughs> Good selection. Trying out some of the lovely food here, so some goo johns, some salad, a nice pop up as well. Does that look good? Great Northern Railway. So another thing to do here folks when you're in Whitehead is to check out the Blackhead Path. It was a lovely day earlier on, I promise. A little bit cold, but the sun was out. Looks like an old sort of pool there or something. What's that? Just here. I'm gonna walk into the lighthouse. Sitting on the edge of Belfast Lock here, overlooking Vans. If I look to my my right, your left. Oh, you kind of hardly even see it. It's actually pretty obscure today. That's the Copen Islands over here. And this is a lovely white head. Look at the little painted houses. It's like Balamori or something. As always, folks, if you like the videos, please hit that subscribe button and like down below. It's rather cold, but oh, we don't mind that, do we? It's good to waterproof. Now, anyway, come with me, let's go and check out the Blackhead Park and the, the lighthouse. As always, you come on a journey with me. I go there so you don't have to. Although, you should really do if you're in the Whitehead area, if you're in Greater Belfast. Catch the train to Whitehead. It goes every half an hour from Belfast. Like every time I visit, I always go and make sure I visit the bar. So, I believe there is a pub here. We'll, we'll check that out later on. Hello. The wren's eggs. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but these little information boards just give you a little bit of local knowledge or local information. So it's quite good. It'd be good to see those on the North Down path as well. So here's another example of how local business can set up along the path. This looks as if it used to be some sort of house. Obviously no longer. <laughs> in such a state, no roof. There's going to be a coffee cart here, apparently. There's even these little frequent shelters, if it's raining or something. 
rest shelters, wheelchair accessible. The big stone at the entrance to the path is actually in tribute to Barclay Dean Wise, who was the designer of the path. So he was in charge of the plan and designing of this park. He also contributed towards the Gobbins, and I believe Port Rush Railway Station as well, which we will get to visit on our trip around the railway. Some pretty interesting stuff here. We're actually at the site of McCartney's Cave, which I think you can get into, but there was a school teacher called Thomas McCartney who came to this area and set himself up as a school teacher. So he actually lived in this cave. This was constructed fairly early on, so it's not a recent addition to the pathway. This would be impossible otherwise because there's no way of getting around from here. You have to scramble across that rock face, so this is actually a necessary addition. It's obviously been some sort of rock formations. I guess part of the point of this series is to highlight sustainable travel options. So I am solely using public transport options, mostly the railways. I'm sure at some point I will have to get onto the buses if there's no trains available. You can see Whitehead from Bangor. So close, but yet I've never been to this Blackhead path before. Um, I have been to the Gobbins. I'll put the link in the description to the video about the Gobbins, which is another coastal walk just near here. It's further online at Ballycarry. And there is an admission charge for that there and you do have to wear safety harnesses. This here is free. If you do walk the Blackhead Coastal Path, you're treated to this lovely view of the Blackhead Lighthouse. The path does go on a loop. Either way, you gotta climb up and go back down again. I chose to go into the caves first. It's almost bear clock. What time is it, folks? It's nearly Guinness time. You know what time it is. It's beer o'clock. I'm here in Whitecliffe Inn, just having a nice pint of Guinness. If you fancy a pint before you head back to Belfast, pop in and 
I'll play the black stuff. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just exploring the nightlife of Whitehead. So just left the White Cliff Inn. Absolutely pumping. So we're gonna head over to the marine. I've got my friends from Canada all the way here. Why are you here in Whitehead? Family. We're gonna have some Irish traditional music. Come on, I think. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, traditional yeah. drinking, traditional yeah. drinking, folks. Let's get some beers in. It's no time it is. It's beer o'clock. Yes. It's only open Thursday to Saturday. Thursday to Sunday, I mean. Here we are on Thursday night. Check it out on the Guinness here. Nice little underground sort of bar, underground feel. Hopefully in the next hour I'll get some, get some live music on because I've got to catch my last train back to Belfast. On the, around the railways, Santa, Salute, Nostrovia, Lachain, Post. Cheers, no matter where you are in the world folks, get that glass in the air and do a salute. Alright Lawrence, can I have a pint of harp and a pint of dance please? What about you? What's a crack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Morning. That's the odd. It's been a fantastic day. I've loved it. Have you loved it? Little hit up gem. What did you think, folks? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give me a like and subscribe. Back to Bagger West. And good night. See you soon.